Easily one of the most innovative RV skirting systems, Air Skirts uses durable inflatable tubes along the perimeter of your undercarriage to insulate the space under your RV. Take our handy knife, let's go around the edge super careful, see what we got inside. My assistant today is Emmett. He's right on top of the situation and guaranteed that if he helps me out, it's gonna take at least twice as long. It's pretty exciting actually. You know, we planned to overwinter in the RV, um, probably I guess about six months up here in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. And it doesn't get stunningly cold, not like Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, but we can expect temperatures down to minus 20, which of course is gonna really use up a lot of propane. And skirts, as you know, essentially provide a insulating barrier underneath your RV. So let's get these boxes emptied. We're gonna lay out our tubes and see what we've got inside. I've cracked the boxes open and now I can see what's inside and it's pretty cool. So we've got some complimentary stickers. Naturally, we should have those. We've also got some tape, some protective stuff. So if there's any sharp corners underneath the RV or your RV, we're gonna stick those on. And we've got some uh, special tape, again, to protect the tubes from sharp objects. Uh, there is a patch kit for those just-in-case scenarios, so it's good they thought of that. We've got some uh, stair pillows to cover up those spaces and a really skookum AC inflator. This is not your 12-volt, uh, I'm going to inflate the kids' tubes. This thing is burly. Um, there also is an owner's manual. Uh, I'll probably read that last since I'm a guy. Uh, and then here's our uh, tire wedges. So we're going to use those on both sides. And speaking of tires, the other thing that we got was the um, dual axle covers. So they're actually going to cover both wheels at the same time to prevent air from coming out in between. And uh, when we get this all packed up, in case we're ready to go on to our next trip, we've actually got some uh, bags to pack it all up in. Now, the air skirts that we got came with four, six, and eight foot tubes, and uh, air skirts will actually put this kit together for you. So if you're concerned that you have to do a bunch of planning, apparently the planning's been done for us. We're actually gonna start by laying the tubes out underneath the RV, so let's get started. All right, tip number one. <laughs> do this on a day where you can pull in the slides, otherwise you're gonna be crawling around in the grass like I am. We've got our tubes laid out, and now we're gonna start inflating. There's definitely some obstacles underneath here, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the air skirts is gonna mold around taps and bumpers and tire carriers and everything else. I've decided to make it easy on myself and start at the back end since it seems to be the simplest without any obstructions. Now, according to the air skirts, we're gonna fill this about halfway, tuck it underneath, rotate it a little bit, and then uh, fill it the rest of the way. Well, that is some crazy fast inflation. So we've manhandled the air skirt underneath and rotated it so we can still get to this inflator. And now we're gonna inflate it a bit more. Not full and hard, remember that. Uh, it's supposed to just be sort of soft to the touch, enough to give us a good seal along the bottom and up against the RV. All right, there we go. So um, it's still soft enough. So if it gets hot, it can still expand a little bit more but we've got a pretty good seal against the top and the bottom. I can kind of see it bulging out a little bit underneath my bumper. I might try and shove that in a little bit yet. But other than that, we've got a seal all the way around and it's time to get on to the next chunk. Well, this is where it's gonna get interesting. You can see we've got a drain valve here and we definitely have to watch out for this sharper corner on there. And then here, we've got our spare tire carrier, which sticks out and creates a big gap. So here I am, nice and cozy underneath the slide, and I noticed a couple of sharp corners here on the uh, jack stand. So I'm just gonna put some of those corner protectors on there. Um, you just have to clean it up with a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol and then stick them on. Now if you've never used 3M adhesive before, this stuff is amazing. Uh, we used it to actually stick a hood protector on our Jeep, and I mean that withstood 120K winds as we cranked on down the highway. The alcohol is nice because it, it dries really quickly. So 
as opposed to trying to wash it with water and then waiting for it to dry. All right, and we're gonna take this from the inside, but it doesn't look like it matters. It'll work on both sides. Put one on the other side yet, and then we'll inflate it. There you can see our air skirts molded around that tube miraculously, and we still have a pretty good seal as these two tubes meet. I think I'll probably take this end tube and actually inflate it a little bit more, make it a little bit more snug. Over here, we definitely have a gap uh, where it goes down to meet the tire carrier. And we have to shove some bubble wrap in there to help it seal up a little bit. On the other side of the tire carrier, We've actually got a pretty good seal again. A small gap in there that we'll have to shove some stuff into, but other than that, it's up against the RV again. It's time for tire wedges. Now the tire wedges inflate the same way, but uh, you do it in a little bit of different order. Here the idea is to put a little bit of air in the tire wedge first. If they put too much air in like we just did, you just hit that release valve take some air out and then we're going to put it in position. Um, if you have your wheel chocks in and you should definitely take them out if you've got them in the middle put them to the outside so that you can get your tire wedges in properly. Feels a little stiff so I'm going to let a little air out. Final part, your dual axle tire cover. Oh yeah, we'll just play with that a little bit so it's straightened around, but that is a great seal. Here now we're getting underneath our drain valves and I can see we've got a couple of sharp edges here, some sharp corners that we wanna put some protectors on. Along here, if we look underneath, we can see there's some sharp edges in here and a sharp corner over here. And over here, we noticed a couple of cross members. So this is the sharp edge material that you get with it. And it's also 3M. Um, it's a little tough to work with. I gotta say, when you try and pull off the backing to get to the sticky part, a lot of times a 3M adhesive actually comes off with it. So it doesn't seem perfect, but we're gonna give it a shot. Even though we might not get perfect adhesion on those cross members, by the time the air skirts press up against it, they should be able to hold it in place. We got this underneath and it's actually looking not bad, but there, as you can see, there's daylight showing through. So there's a fair gap in here uh, where we've got our drain valves coming in. So I've got an idea. We're gonna try and stick a stair pillow in there and inflate it. And uh, I'm willing to bet that that's gonna seal it up just nice. Well, here's our final air skirt install. And uh, really, once you start working with it, you realize how easy it is to manipulate them. They're round tubes, but they can be square tubes. They can squeeze out in between bumpers. Um, they are not delicate. You can reef round and get these guys to do whatever you want. Now, one of the things that I might have mentioned before is uh, the stair pillow. We didn't need actually to use either stair pillow. So you can see I've actually used it to fill in the space where our tire carrier is but they match up completely. They mold to whatever you need. And you can see here, they've molded all around our waste valve and the stair pillow again, I used in there to fill up that space. So here we are along the front, good old air skirts matching up. And you can see here that these are my stairs. I folded them up, but I didn't actually need the stair pillows. The air skirts go right up against my I-beam, so it's nice. And again, the dual axle covers, air wedges in back, and here the final tube up against the tire carrier in there, behind the jacks, and there you have it, sealed up. 
and fully insulated. Well, we've just finished installing the air skirts on our Montana High Country 305RL. And it's a 36 foot fifth wheel. Now, we learned a few things along the way. Number one, when you see those pictures of the air skirts, they, they look like this big hard tube, but they're not. Uh, you always leave them a little bit soft, which means you can really manhandle them and pull them around to get them to mold to all the obstacles underneath your RV. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is, before you order, have a look underneath your RV and make a note of all the sharp corners and maybe sharp ridges and edges. We had some cross members running right across the RV that actually needed to be covered almost completely with a two-sided edge tape to protect the air skirts. Now we ordered the high clearance air skirts because we're on the fifth wheel and it does have a little bit extra space underneath. But we literally have a completely insulated undercarriage, which is terrific. And that should see us right through till the beginning of March, a full winter season. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Smash that like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're the first to know when a new video comes out. Until next time, stay safe. And we'll see you in the parks, the campgrounds, and on the trails.